In 997 AD, the first known reference to pizza was written down in Naples, Italy. Ever since, a race to make the perfect pie has consumed geniuses and innovators across the globe, creating some deliciously wild results. Today, we're going to examine 10 unbelievable modern pizza innovations. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the Weird History Food channel. And let us know in the comments below what other futuristic food innovations you would like to hear about. Okay, fire up your Black & Decker rehydrator and get ready for a taste of the future of pizza. In 2018, a Silicon Valley startup received a $375 million investment to pursue what many thought may be the future of food. Zoom, not to be mistaken for the video conference platform that found a way for all of us to still fall asleep in meetings while working remotely, set out to create a fleet of food trucks that specialized in pizza delivery. What made these trucks worthy of a $1 billion company valuation? Robots and not the kind that replaces the family pet. These robots would prep, cook, and deliver pizza all from the back of a food truck. No need for weak, fleshy minimum wage workers here. These trucks could not be bargained with. They couldn't even be reasoned with. And they absolutely would not stop, ever, until the company ran out of money. By the summer of 2019, Zoom was losing around $10 million each day. It's since abandoned its food truck idea and has pivoted over to developing compostable packaging. As for the robots, they've been recommissioned to make this packaging, pressing, molding, and biding their time until the day they can return to their true purpose, making pizzas. In April of 2016, Vinny's Pizzeria of Brooklyn, New York unveiled a bold new direction for pizza delivery. Forget the robots and compostable packaging. Their big idea? A pizza box that's made from pizza. Wait, pizza delivered inside another pizza? It's the turducken of pizzas. For just 50 bucks, you can order a small pepperoni pie served up inside a larger, more rectangular pizza-based box. Sort of like matryoshka dolls, if they were deliciously cheesy. For over half a decade, the Pizza Box Pizza has delighted customers across the Williamsburg neighborhood. While Vinny's Pizzeria's big idea does not seem to have caught on nationwide, it's important to remember that another Vinny, the guy named Vincent Van Gogh, wasn't appreciated in his time either. And so it may be with the Pizza Box Pizza. In 2013, mathematician Eugenia Cheng asked what millions before her wondered, but never had the tools and or courage to answer. What makes the perfect pizza? She was commissioned by Pizza Express, a pizza chain in the UK, to determine why customers prefer the taste of their 14-inch pizzas to their 11-inch pizzas. Uh, here's a guess. One of them is more pizza? Cheng got going to work, and her results were startling. Assuming that the total amount of dough and the total number of toppings would remain the same from pie to pie, she devised a formula to find differences in both topping distribution and dough to topping ratios. By dividing the volume of the toppings by the volume of the dough and then multiplying that number by the radius of the pizza, put to the power of six and divided by a, uh, well, you know what, you get the idea. What Cheng discovered was that the average bite from an 11-inch pie had 10% more toppings than a bite from a 14-inch pie. The toppings were more tightly clustered together, meaning pizza enthusiasts got fewer of their favorite bites. What's more, smaller pizzas tended to have larger crusts than their bigger counterparts, and nobody wants a higher crust to pizza ratio. So there's more crust and less fun with smaller pizzas, and Chang had the numbers to prove it. Using her findings, Pizza Express changed their recipe to make the 11-inch pizza more competitive. Thus, Chang added the touch of science to the pizza-making process that the field so desperately needed. Robots, again. Well, this time, the robots are in the driver's seat. In April of 2021, Domino's unleashed a fleet of robot delivery cars in the Woodland Hills neighborhood of Houston. The cars, developed by Neuro, came equipped with touchscreen activated doors, which would presumably fly open when touched by the scores of pedestrians the robots inevitably ran down. 
After placing an order, customers would receive a unique code for their delivery. A delivery robot would pull up curbside, customers would type in their code on the delivery robot's touchscreen, and the doors would open, revealing the cheesy goodness within. But don't be fooled by the NeuroCar's bubbly aesthetic. Domino's has other more formidable vehicles waiting in their garage. Meet the Domicopter. Unveiled in 2013, this flying drone awed the people of the UK during its two deliveries over British skies. Domino! Equipped with a Domino's heat wave bag, the Domicopter was capable of delivering an untold number of pizza payloads. Sadly, the Domicopter seems to have been a short-lived PR stunt. Here's a pizza innovation that seems worthy of its own Black Mirror episode. Enter Toby, a Swedish company that creates eye-tracking technologies. In 2014, Toby joined forces with Pizza Hut to develop the flavor of now. In what they dubbed the world's first subconscious menu, Toby and Pizza Hut created a system that would show customers a series of ingredients and would determine what they wanted to eat based on where their eyes lingered. So your order could presumably be a large pie with pepperoni, sausage, and a guy doing cartwheels in a Spider-Man costume out front. If they didn't like the results, the customer had the opportunity to change their subconscious decision with a conscious one. So, if the cheeseless pineapple and Alfredo pie that Toby is trying to feed you doesn't sound too tasty, you have the chance to argue against it, for now. We've looked at pizza innovations by air and by land, but what about by sea? Well, put on your captain's hat, because we're sailing back in time to the year 2014 in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Sasha Bowie was a mechanical engineer turned sailboat captain. His wife, Tara, was an elementary school teacher turned scuba instructor. Together, they had a vision of opening their very own restaurant. They'd devoted two years of their lives to renovating an abandoned boat and installing a brick pizza oven in its kitchen. You know, so you can avoid all those pesky pizza regulations by slinging pies in international waters. They'd even used their wedding registry to ask guests for boat parts. And after a lot of hard work and some pizza-making lessons, they were ready to open their restaurant to all seafaring wanderers around Christmas Cove. They called it Pizza Pie. Only accessible by boat, Pizza Pie was a hit with the locals and tourists alike. They made New York-style pizza, jalapeno poppers, and cocktails by the pitcher. In 2018, Sasha and Tara sold their company to the family of a former employee. But worry not, though, seafaring pizza lovers. Pizza Pie lives on still, and customers love it as much as ever. So if you ever find yourself lost at sea, just let your nose guide you towards the enticing aroma of pizza pie and safety. Maybe bring a flare gun too, just in case. Pizza has a string of popular unofficial mascots in recent years. Remember Pizza Rat? It may not be cute, it may be diseased. It may be, you know, a rat, but it sure loves a New York style slice. The rat went viral in 2015 after someone videotaped it struggling to drag a giant slice of pie back to its subterranean lair in a New York City subway. Not to be outdone by New York, Chicago produced its own viral rodent pizza star the next year. Pizza Squirrel rose to fame in 2016, which, come on Chicago, a squirrel is basically a rat. Dig a little deeper next time and give us Pizza Crow or Pizza River Crab. Pizza Squirrel was captured putting away a big slice in Chicago's Ukrainian village all by itself. That's an impressive amount of za for a rodent. And sure, we all know an adorable animal mascot can do wonders for your pizza franchise. But now we finally know the reason why, or one of the reasons, at least. In 2020, researchers at the University of Leeds demonstrated through science what we all suspected, but didn't have the data to back. Looking at pictures of adorable animals lowers blood pressure and reduces anxiety. So, any struggling Pizza Hut franchisees out there should think about reaching out to Pizza Rat's agent. In 2013, the Saskatchewan Ministry of Agriculture created an initiative to help third and fourth grade students understand where their food comes from. They needed to develop an innovative curriculum that nine-year-olds could understand, so they turned to the universal language of pizza. Using a circular plot of land, they partitioned off ten separate wedges and planted a different crop in each individual wedge. 
On the ground, this organizational strategy may have seemed impractical, but to anyone obsessed with cheese delivery systems, it was only too obvious. They were making a giant pizza. Meet Pizza Farm. It was the one-stop shop for all things pizza. The farm grew tomatoes, garlic, onions, oregano, peppers, and wheat. They even had some cows and pigs on the farm. You know, in case anyone ordered a meat lovers. So the kids got a chance to learn that pizza does not grow on trees. And the community came together to make something special. A giant pizza. Art. The word means different things to different people. To some artists, like Otto Gillen, it means pizza. Hey, us too. At least, Gillen sure believed pizza was an art when he created his untitled Vanitas. A still-life photo of an irresistibly cheesy pepperoni pie that echoes the Dutch Baroque style. Only rivaled in its artistry by, perhaps, the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, untitled Vanitas demonstrates life's ephemerality by use of chromogenic printing, UV glass, mahogany, and screws. Don't get those toppings on a pizza. It was just one of over 25 pieces contributed to the 2013 Pizza Time exhibition in New York City. According to curator Vera Nakov, pizza is a metaphor for community, and Pizza Time was meant to reflect this. Other works featured during the exhibition included John Reipenhoff's Physical Pizza Networking Theory, a 97-centimeter pizza that was topped off by many smaller pizzas, and Michelle Devereaux's Caveman on Pizza, a colored pencil and airbrush work featuring a prehistoric man riding a giant slice of za. Eh, maybe you can get that on a t-shirt. In what may be Earth's most recent pizza innovation, Pizza Hut broke the record for the world's largest pizza in January of 2023 by using 13,653 pounds of dough, 8,800 pounds of cheese, 4,948 pounds of marinara sauce, and over a half a million pepperoni slices, they created a pie that covered nearly 14,000 square feet. Oh boy. How many book it certificates would it take to get that thing? In order to accomplish this, they had to cook the pizza in sections. Otherwise, they'd have to buy a flamethrower for every Pizza Hut employee in the state. The hulking hunk of doughy decadence produced 68,000 slices, which was more than enough to feed a giant pizza party held in honor of the massive achievement. For now, at least, no one out pizzas the hut. So what do you think? Which of these innovations surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're at it, check out some of these other great weird history food videos.